Beep, 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 beep. Hello. <laughs> From the court of the EDI Jester. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. And wherever you are in the world, I hope you're having a wonderful time. Uh, you'll notice a hey, jumper. <laughs> One of the most important fights in my life that becomes a daily battle at this time of the year is to resist the urge to shut the windows. Because <laughs> I, it feels like the end of something and I hate it. It's like you've given in. And my windows go up like that, so I've got, I've got a face on me when I'm doing it. Right, I have to hook them in and that's it. You're like your cocoon then for the winter. So I don't like to give in. So anyway, I got up this morning and I took the icicles off my toes and I thought, OK, it's definitely a jumper day. <laughs> but I'm not shutting the damn windows. So my fight to not shut the windows until the 1st of November continues. OK. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. But so... um this is just amusings, general ramblings and updatings thereof, okay? So um, if you're expecting something profound, go do something else. <laughs> ah, so here we go. What we got? Right, so Joe Phoenix is in the old tribunals, right? About the OU, the Open University. And if you've not seen tribunal tweets... <laughs> if you've not seen tribunal tweets reported on this, go and have a look. Right? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. That's the first thing you want to have a look at if you haven't yet. I mentioned it the other day, so please have a look at that. The second thing is there's a museum in a place called Western Supermare, right? Now Western Supermare is this tiny little estuary town. It's not it's not tiny, it's it's a city actually, I think, Western Supermare. Is it? Yeah, it's a city, right? Um no well, there's a lovely place called Uphill with a church at the top and you used to have a plowman's lunch at the pub years ago and all that sort of stuff. So Western Supermare is a, a gloriously um, sort of um, stereotypical English seaside town uh, which has some great restaurants actually funny enough as well great restaurants I used to have a pavilion years ago and you could go there and see people singing and dancing and kicking their legs in the air it's all a bit done in a row you know what I mean West Supermare but they also have a museum apparently which has got itself in a bit of hot water <laughs> again you'll find it on the Twitters <laughs> If I can find it, I'll stick it in there. It's like there's a number of little things that have been happening that have amused me. And they put up this unbelievably, unbelievably libelous poster um, linking LGBT alliance to the far-right evangelical Christian Nazis. <laughs> you have to see it to believe it, right? Extraordinary. Extraordinary. And, of course, people went, uh, excuse me, <laughs> you little tin pot museum, you. What are you playing at? What exactly is this? Um, and it took like about an hour and a half, two hours. And then they, they put out this disgruntled message that just said, we have removed the text. They didn't say anything else. They, they said nothing else because they're all cowering, you know, in their seaside hole because they know what they've done. They've made a huge mistake. Um, it's funny watching people, <laughs> people try to actually justify what was said. It's just surreal. They're all mad. Mad as hatters. <laughs> mad as hatters. If I can find it again, I'll put it in the Dubris so you've got a link to the Twitters to see what the hell is going on. I mean, really, you know? So I responded to him and said, yeah, thank you for that. What did you do wrong that meant you had to do it? Gosh, you are. And they're not, they're not engaging at all. They're not engaging. It's like people are gradually learning. We bug it up. Stay off the socials. <laughs> Where's the intern? Tie him to that chair. <laughs> so at that fact, I found that extraordinarily amusing. Less amusing and by far more serious is what's happened in Australia. They've eradicated lesbianism in Australia. It doesn't exist. It doesn't exist in law. That's what's happened in Australia. You don't think this is serious. People are, you are miles away from where reality is if you don't think this is serious. They can no longer gather as women without men. LARPing and pretending they're lesbians. Perverts, fetishists, cross-dressers, knicker fumblers, bra regarders. Now they can do it, they can't do it. That's what's happened to lesbians in Australia. We better be dead careful we don't go down the same route, people, because we're going to. And then question time last night, somebody tried to interject and ask Yvette Cooper the what is a woman question. And that awful, what's her name, Fiona Blather, Blatherwit, whatever her name is, wouldn't, oh, that's not the question that was asked, you know. If that was the old folk that used to do question time, you know, that used to run it, like, they'd have gone, oh, yeah, we'll have a bit of that. Go on, Yvette, explain yourself. No, no, but Fiona, it's Fiona, isn't it? Fiona, Fiona Brusque. <laughs> she's, she's the, she's like an ideological guardian for the BBC. How is this crap all happening? Right, all this different stuff in Australia, for God's sake. You know? 
Why is that happening? How are we allowing it to happen? What's going on in the world? We continue to fight. We keep going. It's all we can do. It's all we can do. Um, so that's, you know, the basics of what's going on at the moment in terms of musings. Other than that, other than that, you'll notice that I put up um, like these desktop uh, pictures. I'll put them up again today at some point, which is just my ramblings with a picture of me looking quite aviatorish. I thought I didn't realise to put it up. It looked like I was about to get in a biplane and kill, you know, and shoot down some fuckers. But <laughs> we have a look, right? But it's just me having some musings. And I get a bit wordy when I write stuff. So it's a bit wordy. Forgive me for being a bit wordy. I can be wordy in real life as well. But that, you know. So they're up and about. If you want to have a look at those, you can share some of them. Might be worth sharing. So here comes the next bit. Uh, some of you will know that I've had wranglings with the YouTubes <laughs> about the, uh, you know, oh, oh, ineligible, eligible, ineligible, eligible, uh, the restricted advertising, right? It's not them. It's the algorithm. And inevitably, when I go back to them and I say, why is this restricted? And they'll go, oh, sorry, you know, we've got to look, it's all right. But it was taking seven to ten days. Anyway, they wrote to me and said, can you take part in our survey? So I took part in the survey and I put on there, look, this seven to ten days business has got to stop. And to their credit, now they do it in 48 hours. I, they're really good to work for. I've said this before on another one, but they're really good to work. I'm really enjoying working with them, actually. So there's some great stuff coming up on that front, because what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to have an offering, which would be a subscriber-only offering, so you can subscribe, okay? That's what I've, I've sent off the details to get it all come through, find out how to do it. And what that will mean is you'll get access to my videos early with no adverts. So I take the advert thing out of the equation altogether. It makes my life easier. So if you want to, you can then join. You know, 2 .99 and away we go, right? Okay, we can do something, right? I can actually put some stuff up. In addition to that, I'll be putting other stuff up that's not related to the subject that you and I mostly discuss and dissect, okay? So it'd be other things that will be available to those who subscribe. Like I'm going to put do some mini training stuff. Yep, some mini training stuff. Just explaining theories and, and, and possibilities. Things like, I mean, I want to run a WhatsApp group for gender criticals. How do I do it? So I'm going to do things like that. You know, stuff that I think might be of interest to people understanding about how to perhaps be the moderator and lead correctly. Well, I, you know, could be anything. I haven't decided yet. Honest to God, I haven't. I've only just started looking at it. So that's what's going to be happening in the next few days. Other than that, um, the Warrior Teacher Programme, we had some more people finish last night. They're moving on to year two in November. It was a bit sad. You know, there was a bit of sadness in the room. But we'll move forward. We'll get there. We'll get there. We'll keep going. Keep going. Keep fighting as you do. So from that perspective, I'm uh, really pleased that they've finished uh, the first year. And it's been such a ride and such fun. And when we look back at what we started and where we are now, oh, gosh, you know, the stuff we've done. It's been brilliant. And the stuff they're doing, active in schools, acting in, active in the NHS, in the civil service, people doing all sorts of stuff um, and, and, uh, and pushing forward to end this nonsense that we all feel so deeply about so you can now become a subscriber and get it 24 hours before anybody else does or 40 hours before anybody else done or access to stuff that is only available to you so i thought that might be quite interesting like a little community a little community of persons and you will be known when you join and you'll get a special badge an emoji right <laughs> and you will be known as jesterites all right jesterites all warrior teachers are automatically jesterites. But if you want to be a jesterite without being a warrior teacher, come and do this YouTube thing that I'm going to put up, he says. Other than that, come be a warrior teacher, buy me a coffee, keep me going, all that nonsense. Um, I'll see you soon, yeah? All right, let's keep going. Just another amusing ramble. That's all I have for you today. Bye-bye.